So what is first pass hepatic metabolism? It is when the drug is ingested orally and the liver break down the drug re resulting in less clinical efficacy of the drug. So first pass hepatic metabolism is something of a very important barrier in terms of oral drug efficacy. Does oral ingestion of PDE5 re result in some side effect profile? The answer is yes. So what happened is that oral PDE5 is a drug that creates vasodilatation. So when you ingest it orally, it can also cause a heartburn because it increases blood flow to the stomach. And in some patients, if they have food ingestion and alcohol, it can also slow down the absorption of the drug, resulting in less clinical efficacy. So it has a twofold effect. One, it decreases the clinical efficacy. And number two, it can also decrease uh, increase the side effect profile of the drug. So what are the common side effects that people experience when they take oral PD-5? Oral PD-5 is a vasodilatation. So you can get headache, you can get flushing, you can get nasal congestion, and in significant vasodilation, patients can also develop postural hypotension. So whenever they stand up too quickly, they can get dizziness. So these are some of the side effects that you can see in addition to the heartburn and dyspepsia. Why do speed matter for this drug? We know from clinical study that sexual spontaneity is something that occur quite important when people go into sexual intimacy. So many patients that have erectile dysfunction want a drug that can work very quickly. So when they start not having an erection despite taking oral medication, it sometimes can play some significant psychosexual distress. So the more they think about it, the more anxious they are. And the more anxious they are, the more it vessel constrict the vessels to the penis. So the more likely they could end up with erectile dysfunction. So you can see very quickly that this is a vicious cycle. I can tell you that there are many patients that inquire about other form of oral PD-5 drug and also importantly whether there are other uh, PD-5 that can be administered in a different manner. So I think Spontan being a nasal technology certainly fulfills the criteria and certainly something that many of patients will be looking forward to when it get approved.